Deep Jackie time. Beef Jackie. I love beef jerky. Howdy, folks. Welcome on back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for another holiday season movie. Holiday season This movie. time we're, we're Christmas season, holiday season. Okay. Watching a, a comedy this time. Trading Places. See that? Eddie Murphy. Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. I think it's the old classic Prince and the Popper story. The modern take, or at least 80s modern I take. I don't recall what that... You don't know the Prince and the Popper? William Shakespeare one is. I can't remember. Okay, well, uh, I don't know if it's Shakespeare, but it's definitely a classic tale. Okay. You haven't seen this. I have not. No, I feel like I maybe know that there's a reference to a gorilla in this, I think. But I always got this one and Brewster's Million mixed up. Okay. So I think I always thought I saw this, but I'm pretty sure I've only ever seen Brewster's Million. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a gorilla in it. No gorilla? I can't remember. I haven't seen this in ages, too, so it's going to be like a first time watch. Okay. So. Yeah, I mean, if I've seen bits and pieces of it, it's been so long ago that I recall nothing except for some this, sort of This gorilla. came out before you were born, 1983. Okay. Before I was born. It's got two comedy legends, yep. so it's got to be good. Yeah. So we'll see if it warrants being considered a Christmas movie or not. Okay. If Christmas is needed for the plot, but... It was on our Christmas polls this year, and it won. Nice. nice. Should we jump in and... Tra- should we trade places? No, that would feel weird. Yeah? Okay. Save that for Valentine's Day. Okay. All right. Should we, should we jump in and check out Trading Oh, places? yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe. Come hang out with us for Trading Places, a comedy classic. Yeah. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to reviews, full and commentary, access to polls, helps pick what we watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. We also have Twitter and Instagram, so if you are into social media, you can follow us there. Or you just don't. If you're not in the social media, just ignore everything we just said. Yeah. Let's watch Trading Places. Here we go. Philadelphia. There's way more instruments in this song than that five-man band. Yeah, correct. Mostly string instruments, which were not present at all. <laughs> The Landis brand food there. John Landis is the director of this movie. He also directed American Werewolf in London. Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay. <sighs> Jamie Lee Curtis and a gorilla. Those are things that I remember. Okay. I think together. I don't know if she is a gorilla or she gets molested by a gorilla or something. Maybe. <sighs> okay. Okay. Is this really Philadelphia? I didn't see one Eagles hat or t-shirt. I don't think the Eagles were that good in the 80s. <laughs> so. Oh, I like that uh, bed tray with baskets on the side for holding all of your things. Will Miss Penelope be dining with you this evening, sir? Yes. Yes, she will. He's so young. Before or after Ghostbusters? This is before Ghostbusters. I feel like he put on a little weight for Ghostbusters. Or he just aged. It was like two years later, if that. I don't know about you, but I can, I can put on some... I mean, I know you can put on some pounds pretty quick, right? Morning. 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 Morning, Mr. Winthorpe. Morning, Mr. Winkler. Winthorpe. Oh, Winthorpe, yeah. Damn they were saying damn. Winkler. That's a better name, anyways. Winkler. I know the old guys from the Muppets were in this. <laughs> they do look like them, don't they? I think we'll be entertained tonight. I will. I brought a book. <laughs> Dad and son? Might be brothers. That live in the same house still? A bit weird. Is weird as father and son still living in the same house? Multi generational households make more sense than brothers, but it's a big house, so. There's your snow. (laughs) 
can help you. No questions. And then you're going to go to bed and stay in bed? Yeah. Okay. Promise? I promise. All right. Get going, girl. Okay. How many would you like? Three? How many would you like? Four. Four? Four. That's a lot of pretzels. <laughs> Winthrop's wrong. It's topped out. I say we sell now. Just another few seconds. The market's closing. We won't get the order in. We just made an extra $347,000. We should invest in pork bellies. I could get behind that. Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Vietnam did this to me, but I'm not bitter. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. I have no money to give you. to make millions of dollars in frozen orange juice and you're talking to me about human nature. Money isn't everything, Mortimer. Oh, they're brothers. Your Christmas bonus. There you are. Five dollars. Maybe I'll go to the movies by myself. <laughs> <laughs> they're like millionaires. And yeah. I guess they're millionaires because they cling to their money pretty tight, huh? Pinching those pennies. Well, it's that time of the month again. Payroll checks for our employees, which require your signatures. And no forgetting to sign the big ones. You seem to be paying some of our employees an awful lot of money. Can't get around the old minimum wage, Mortimer. <laughs> Who the hell is... <clears throat> I meant to ask you about that. <clears throat> oh, oh. Clarence Beaks. Oh, yes, of course. They're trying long, to they're launder some money. <laughs> hey, baby, what's happening? What are you doing? You want you to have a man with no legs, you never go back, baby. <laughs> Me and you! You bitch! <laughs> I can see! I can see! I have, I can, I have legs! Man, I can walk! Jesus! Praise! Jesus! Oh, this is beautiful. I can't believe. It. Thank you. I don't know what to do. It's <laughs> the Christmas miracle. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that, man. Help! Help! What you talking about, man? Take it, take it. I don't want your bag, man. Help! 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 Is there a problem, officers? <laughs> Just a misunderstanding. Shit, I can't be going to jail because I'm ass wipe ain't watching where he's going. Officer, I would like to press full charges. Oh, jeez. You ain't talking to this guy. I want a lawyer. Is there a lawyer in the house? <clears throat> They're all lawyers, <laughs> yeah. He's a Negro. Probably been stealing since he could crawl. Jeez. <laughs> Apparently the Duke brother is a product of his environment as well, huh? I'll bet that that man could run our company as well as your young Winthorpe. Are we talking about a wager, Randolph? I think we'd have to heap a little more misfortune on those narrow shoulders. Yikes. You'd have to put him in the wrong surroundings, of course, with the worst sort of people. I mean real... Wow, they're gonna... Fuck with his whole life just to prove a point with each other. It's a wager. Usual amount. Why not? Was it fifty thousand dollars? Five dollars. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I want you, Lewis. Now. Coleman, I think we'll take our drinks uh, in the living room by the fire. No dessert, sir. You have it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> I shall make the necessary arrangements. And a very good night to you, sir. What a scumbag. <laughs> Is he going to be in on the 
Sounds Hopefully. like it. Why can't you make them do it another day? Oh no. The Department of Agriculture gets those estimates from all over the country. Why are they doing it in the living room? But they're doing it by the fire. Excuse me, sir. What is it now, Coleman? Will you be needing me anymore this evening, sir? <laughs> I think I have everything I want. Good night, sir. <laughs> I think he's like, uh... He looks pained. <laughs> your life is about to be ruined. I am a chain belt of Kung Fu. Bruce Lee was my teacher. Watch this. What? <laughs> That's called the quarter blood technique. You do that, a quarter blood will drop out a person's body. <laughs> you putting a man in a hospital? How come I don't see no marks on you? Yeah, because I'm a karate man. Karate man bruised on the inside. They don't show their weaknesses. <laughs> you know that because you're a big Barry White looking man. <laughs> Barry White. <laughs> Billy Ray Valentine? Yes. Move it. You made bail. I did. <laughs> How much was this bell set at? 200 bucks. Mr. Valentine? Could you spare us a moment? Hey man, don't I know you two guys? Step inside, nice and warm in here. <laughs> He's being kidnapped. My brother and I run a privately funded program to rehabilitate culturally disadvantaged people. We'd like to supply you with a home of your own and employment with our company. We're going to start you at eighty thousand dollars a year. Damn. It's pretty good. This is a practical joke, right, Brian? What's my next move, man? <laughs> Thank you, you've been helpful. <laughs> I'm Randolph Duke. How you doing, Randy? What's happening? Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. Randy, that's like Randy Jackson from the Jackson Five, right? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he mean Randy Jackson from American Idol? Yeah, I know. It's like, I don't think Randy Jackson was part of uh, Jackson Five. I don't think he was. Jacuzzi, sir. You see, man, I knew y'all was f***ing, man. You ain't jacuzzi nobody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, bubbles, man. Bubbles. Hey, man, when I was growing up, we wanted jacuzzi. We had to fart in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is your home. Uh-huh, right. It, it belongs to you. Yeah, all this is mine. I like my home. It's very nice. Like Everything it. you see in this room is yours now. Uh-huh, this is my stuff. You don't have to steal it. For me, man. You know, I can really dig this, Randy. You know why? This kind of thing happens to me every week. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact remains, all this is yours. You may do with it whatever you wish. Until they take it away from you, like they just did with what's his butt. Right? I own this vase. I can play like Harlem Globe, try to shit with it, right? Okay, you want Melon Lemon shit, right? <laughs> hey, man, I'm sorry about that. Perfectly all right, William. It was your vase. <laughs> Remember, we estimated its value at fifty thousand dollars for the insurance company. <laughs> you see, more than one, William has already made us a profit of fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> He's already winning the bet, then. You want me to break something else? No. <laughs> That's a lot of green carpet. What the fuck is this? It's a Heritage Club meeting. Excuse me. Sorry. There is something rotten in the Heritage Club. Something. Oh. There is a thief. And he's sitting here among us. What do you steal? Fabergé egg. We marked three $50 bills with red X's. Those bills were stolen from a coat in the cloakroom. One of our operatives witnessed the theft. So $150 is what he stole? Hmm. Well, that's what he put in his pocket. Now, 
Wait a minute. I've never seen this money before in my life. Now wait. I'm not a thief. I, I demand a fair hearing. You can at least grant me that. He's even the paintings are disappointed in him. Mm, very. Wait a minute. I know my rights. Take off your clothes. You are making a career decision here. Now Strip you little shit before I tell you a new asshole. <laughs> you don't want one of those. One cellophane bag. Now it's not mine. You ever seen what this stuff does to kids? You are looking at three to five mandatory. It's probably just powdered sugar. Have you ever seen what that does to kids? I have firsthand seen what powdered sugar does to kids. Champagne for everybody. Courtesy of Billy Ray Valentine. Just five dollars. You the motherfucker I was gonna call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, Sai, why don't you go take a look at it? Right outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's having fun. <laughs> she gets some green pants like that. When it's your shit, you get pissed when people mess with it, right? And they trash it. Welcome to you, me and the boobies. It's <laughs> just shirts. <laughs> shirts optional at this party, apparently. Get the fuck out! <laughs> you can take your clothes off if you want to. You sure? Yeah. Hmm, maybe later. Good night, sir. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah. I like Coleman. Let's go, Winthorpe. Oh. Oh, no. He didn't fare well in there. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis, there she is. How'd you like to make a fast hunt? Got out. She's a hooker. <laughs> you look awful. I'm so ashamed. Those clothes and those shoes and Penelope, do you realize where I've been since yesterday? Bean. <laughs> Those men wanted to have sex with me. This somewhere else was. One of them tried to bend me over the stuff. <laughs> My witness, I am not an angel dust dealer. Just a user. I've been looking everywhere for you, baby. Listen, Lewis, it's you. I'm hurting, baby. I just need a shot. Please. Lewis, who is this person? I'll do all the <clears throat> things you like. I won't. <laughs> I never want to see you again as long as I live. She's still down there. You know, if you're hustling me, hustling you, hustling you. You don't think they give these to just anyone, do you? Well, nowadays, yeah. They look to give those to the people who cannot use, the, cannot afford them, right? Coleman, just unchain the door and let me in. I'm in no mood for jokes. Coleman, there's no Coleman here. <laughs> if you don't go away, I shall be forced to call the police. <laughs> <laughs> Until he feels bad, he's like, oh, God, sorry. I'll be making a cash withdrawal in the amount of $500. Well, in fact, we'll make it 1000 I'm sorry, Mr. Winthorpe, but the IRS has frozen your accounts. What are you talking about? They're going to great lengths to really fuck his life up, huh? 
Tell you what, forget about the 50 bucks, okay? I'm just real tired. I'm going home. She had a hell of a show. <laughs> I have over $150,000 in that bank. We should find a bank that has $150,000 for us in it. Okay. That'd be nice. I don't think they just, you know, do that. Oh, there's, they just don't have no, the money for us. You have to, like, put it have in there. that much. Dang. Someday. Someday. I'm gonna regret this, bud. Come on. You can stay with the hooker. It'll be great. She'll show you how to... How to work the system. Yeah. It's like a reverse pretty woman. <laughs> What am I supposed to do in here? What they want from me? I'm sure they'll tell you, sir. Yeah, but what if I can't do it? Just be yourself, sir. Whatever happens, they can't take that away from you. <laughs> oh, man. He's so sweet. I love him so much. We are commodities brokers, William. Now, what are commodities? Commodities are agricultural products, like wheat, which is used to make bread, Pork bellies, which is used to make bacon. <clears throat> which you might find in a bacon and lettuce and tomato sandwich. <laughs> no matter whether our clients make money or lose money, Duke and Duke get the commissions. Yeah, cut off the top. Well, it sounds to me like you guys are a couple of bookies. <laughs> I told you he'd understand. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing I got going for me in this whole big wide world is this body, this face, and what I got up here. She looks better without the wig. Yeah. It's a rough wig. 80s hairs. Especially the wigs. I've saved 42 grand and it's in T-bills, earning interest. I figure I got three more years on my back. I'll have enough to retire on. You're a prostitute. Yeah. Duh. Working girl. I help you get yourself back on your feet and you pay me, in cash, five figures. That's the deal, and it's not subject to negotiation. Understood? So just ten grand or more than that? Probably just ten. Jamie Lee Curtis boobs. They're nice, too. Good for her. Food and rent are not the only things around here that cost money. You sleep on the couch. Welcome on back. Those are nice boobs. What? Those were nice boobs. Sorry. Wow. Good for her. I can see why people love this movie so much. <laughs> <laughs> Pork belly prices have been dropping all morning. Which means everybody's sitting in their office and they're waiting for them to hit rock bottom. I wait till you get to about 64, then I'd buy. Do you realize how much money he just saved us? Money isn't everything, Randolph. <laughs> Advise our clients interested in bellies to buy at 64. Is he going to get that low? I don't know. Is that a test? I think so. More of a job just money clip. Thank you, He's proud of himself too. <laughs> ah, there you are. I think I'm going to be sick. Don't worry, I'll handle this poop. She's already found another guy? Oh yeah. And I think I speak for all of us. I think it shows incredibly bad taste for you to come here and embarrass us all like this. Great friends. Man that watches so hot was smoking. Hot. You stole it. This is the sports watch of the 80s. $6,955 retail. You got a receipt? In Philadelphia, it's worth 50 bucks. <laughs> He's going to make some money off that watch. How much for the gun? Oh boy. You see, when I drive down the avenue, I want everybody to say, 
Look at that S car go. Look at that S car go. <laughs> Good one. Did he get the gun? Three, judging from all these jewels around your girlfriend's neck here, I think you'll need every penny you got just to keep her happy. <laughs> He's like, he, he was right. <laughs> It's 10 o'clock. Here's Johnny. My mama just came in from out of town. Can we do it next week? Thanks. Oh, blue balls. <laughs> what are you doing? <coughs> Where's your boobs again? Oh! oh, my gosh. They're almost as nice as yours. I, that's what I'm saying. Like, good for her. I'm just protecting my her earrings, though. Oof. That's all. Big earrings was the '80s. Yikes. Wish you'd cuddle me like that when I'm sick. You've been sick for three months. <laughs> you haven't cuddled me like that once. Yeah, it's hard to cuddle you when you're coughing <laughs> constantly. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Dirty gross Santa. It is a Christmas movie. <laughs> How long has that roast been there? It's prime rib, it'll be fine. Clarence Beaks. That's the cop. Mm -hmm. Or the swindler cop. Detective. A whole smoked salmon. <laughs> oh, that would not smell good. Well, he is stealing from him, though. So is mm -hmm. that... Yeah, that's crime. Who are you? I've caught him red-handed. Winthorpe, is that you? I'm making a citizen's arrest. This man is a drug dealer. Look, put that phone down. Hello, security. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Rob me, plant drugs on me, you steal my house, my car, my job. Does he have bullets for the gun, though? Free slime ball. Whoa. Whole group of people just came in. You'll all be very, very sorry. <laughs> Is he wearing her boots? You see the boots he's got on. <laughs> Hot. Pay up, Mortimer. I've won the bet. Here. One dollar. Not even five. Now. What are we going to do about taking Winthorpe back and returning Valentine to the ghetto? I don't want Winthorpe back after what he's done. Do you really believe I would have a n run our family business, Randall? Oh, boy. If uh, Mr. Beeks does what we paid him to do, we should have a very happy new year. Yeah. Wow. Well, now he knows the truth. What's he yeah. going to do? Winthorpe! Yo! Sorry about that. <laughs> they have to give him his money back at least, right? I mean, they have to give him access to his own money. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> it's gonna be covered in fake hair. He's. <laughs> <laughs> Did he actually get any of the salmon, or is that all his beard? <laughs> oh, God. Man, when it rains, it pours. Oh, no. He didn't have bullets. Or he did. Oh, jeez. I was lucky. 
I'm looking for a Lewis Winthrop. Does he live here? Wait here a minute. I'll be right back. Louis? Louis, it's him. It's Valentine. Coleman, I've had the most absurd nightmare. I was poor and no one liked me. <laughs> it was all because of this terrible, awful Negro. Dukes ruined my life over a bet. For how much? A dollar. One dollar. Yeah. Fine. Are his eyes That's different colors? One's brown, one's kind of green? Yeah, looks like it. That's fun. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. well, it occurs to me that the best way you hurt rich people is by turning them into poor people. <laughs> Colbert got all the guns. Dukes are going to corner the entire frozen orange juice market. Unless somebody stops them. Or beats them to it. Eggnog. <laughs> I anticipate penetration and acquisition at 2100 hours tomorrow. Hold on. Fuck off. <laughs> hey! Ah, gorilla! And then it was Jim Belushi, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How come I just remember a gorilla mm. and Jamie Lee Curtis? It's so bizarre. You would remember her boobs. I would have remembered those boobs. What? It, it, it's my turn to drive. An actual gorilla, that's too. A, that's an actual gorilla. Yeah. Looks like one. Merry New Year! In this country, we say Happy New Year. <laughs> I am Nanja Ibuko, exchange student from Cameroon. <laughs> Just before coming to America? I don't know. I don't remember when coming to America was. Beef jerky time. <laughs> beef jerky? I love beef jerky. Beef jerky? Yeah, no, son, thank you very much. No, it gives me the wind, something terrible. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me see now. You would be from uh, Austria, am I right? No, I am Inga from Sweden. Sweden? But you're wearing lederhosen. <laughs> to help me with my rucksack. <laughs> now how do they get out of there nonchalantly? I certainly hope there's enough spears on the train for me. Do <laughs> <laughs> you remember me? It's Lionel Joseph. <laughs> I remember the pavilion. We had big fun there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my rucksack down for the Swedish meatballs. I can avoid it. Can you it? Swedish meatballs? Will you be getting off at the city of brotherly loves, Mr. Beaks? Yeah, I will, but you won't. Winthorpe. Hey, back off. I'll rip out your eyes and piss on your brain. Oh, jeez. All right, I'll get this up. Let's go. <clears throat> Why would they... Weirdos. We're going to take a little walk. Try to swap the... Maybe they the put bat. bad information in it to make them lose money. Huh. The party's over. Party's over? Hey, man, it's almost New Year's Eve. So human 
trying to get you the creeps. <laughs> How much money are they going to lose? I don't know. Are they going to use the information and do the right selling point? I don't know. I worked real hard for this, Louie. Hope you know what you're doing. It's insider trading, though, right? It's illegal. Insider trading? Yeah. They weren't the insiders. you to buy as much OJ as you can. The instant trading starts. Don't worry if the price starts going up. Just keep buying. Is there going to be a shortage of oranges or a surplus? Oh. Making the price go down. I don't know. <laughs> Here in New York, they trade everything. Gold, silver, platinum, Heating oil, propane, and of course, frozen concentrated orange juice. <laughs> now the Duke's trader is going to be buying like crazy right from the opening. We'll be waiting until he drives the price up. Right. I can't wait to see his face when they broadcast that genuine crop report. OJ Trading opens at 9. Let's go kick some butt. When are they going to buy? I don't know. 102 for 108 sold. Take him. Now. Yeah. 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 What? They're selling, Mortimer. Well, that's ridiculous. What? I don't understand. God help us. That environment is my worst nightmare. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to process any information in that environment. The orange crop estimates for the next year. After calculating the estimates from various orange producing states, the cold winter has apparently not affected the orange harvest. Lots of oranges, lower price. They sold all theirs at the highest price. Yeah. How could you do this to us after everything we've done for you? Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. See, Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poor house at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. I won. One dollar. Thank you, Lewis. After you. Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> you know perfectly well we don't have $394 million in cash. I'm sorry, boy. Oh my God. Mortimer, your brother's not well. We better call an ambulance. Fuck him! <laughs> Turn those machines back on! Turn those machines back on! Uh, commodities is a risky business. Hmm. Where's Beaks? Where in the hell is Beaks? Still being fucked by the gorilla. Uh. Oh no. Wait, take a look. They're in love. <laughs> <laughs> so how much money did they make? A lot. What should we do about lunch? The laps of the crack crab. What do you think? Can't we have both? Why not? Sir, lobster and crack crab for everyone. Extra primo good, Mr. Coleman, sir. <laughs> Coleman's got his own butler now. Looking good, Billy Ray! Feeling good, Lewis! Looking good. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Trading places. That's good. 
There's a double meaning on that too, because they're stock trading. Yeah, they don't just trade places. They trade trading. That's their job. Yeah. So yeah, that was good. Yeah, I liked it. Actually, I don't even know if I've ever seen this. Really? I've watched it again. I, I watched it. like I said, I remember the gorillas that and the fact that Jamie Lee Curtis was in it. But I don't know why those are the only yeah. two things I. Where did you see the gorilla? I must have walked in on. Like, Your probably my, my dad watching it one time or something and saw the gorilla scene was like, okay, this is weird. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird scene to have, like, just that gorilla set up just to knock him out and save them from being yeah. shot, right? Yeah. I Yeah, because I, I had not seen any of the rest of it, so uh, it's weird. Right. What was your favorite part? I, my favorite part was how Coleman felt bad for yeah. what he was doing. Yeah, he was a, a good sport. He was doing what yeah, he was supposed to do, exactly. but then he, he was, was also like, so on kind. their sides the whole time. Yeah, yeah. he was so kind in, in the way that he did some of the things. So Yeah. 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 My favorite part was Jamie Lee Curtis. I bet. Yeah. Favorite two parts. Yep. Well done, Jamie Lee Curtis. Well done. So yeah, that's the the Prince and the Popper story though. Like the old Rags to Riches, they switch high class with the low class and see if they can, like, r- rule in the mm. Prince and Popper while the other one tries to, you know, work the, the fields or whatever. There's a lot to be said about yeah. a person's environment. Valentine was doing great. Yeah. He was making them money. So they should have just kept both of them He worked hard. He was working hard, too. As stock traders, and then they wouldn't have yeah. lost their empire. Exactly. And I can just imagine that uh, Winthorpe and Valentine are have their own partnership and Stock brokerage. I imagine. Mm-hmm. All the money they made. Both have a knack for it. A little vacation after the movie to celebrate, and then they're heading back to Philadelphia to... Or somewhere, you know, yeah. Put their minds together with how well they were both good at picking the stocks before. Totally. Maybe they'll make some legit good money for put themselves. Put different commodities. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Winthorpe found real love. Yeah, that was yeah. fun. She was taking care of him, protecting her investment. but In a was, very pretty woman fashion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now Coleman's got his own butler. I know. What a Happy good Happy ending guy. for everybody. That's great. So is this a Christmas movie? No. No? I don't think so. There's a whole scene with Dan Aykroyd in a Santa costume, though. It goes into... It's, the I, only way he could get in that party was dressed as Santa. Possibly. It's more a New Year's. Well, that's when the... The climax of the film is during a New Year's party. But so it could be our It's a holiday way. movie. You, you watch it every December. Okay. Because it. I would watch it. It goes from like Thanksgiving time. to New Year's. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of what it feels like, right? Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, it, you could watch it anytime. But I feel like it does have that wintry holiday feeling to it because you, you got the whole setting of it. So. Okay. You can have it. It's fine. It's a holiday film. I won't give it Christmas, but I'll give it holiday. Okay. Well, what should people comment on after trading places? Favorite character. Favorite character? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you prefer Winthrop or Valentine? Eddie Murphy's. Yeah, I mean, he's how can you not prefer story, Valentine? So. Uh, I mean, Winthrop redeems himself there at the end, but he's yeah. very unlikable at the beginning. Yeah, because he's just a yeah. pompous guy. I mean, he just, he just didn't know. He only knew his own life, right? Yeah. Just, he got to see the other side of the coin and... Yeah, he became so, a, a yeah. good person. It was good that. lessons for both of them. Yeah, so. absolutely. Yeah. Who was your favorite character in Trading Places? Yeah. Huh? And holiday what? movie or not? Why was it Jim Lee Curse's boobs? <laughs> oh, we know why it was. Oh, yeah, we know why. <laughs> and is this a holiday movie, a Christmas movie, or just a movie? Yeah. Let us know your verdict on the whole, is it a Christmas movie decision? Right? Absolutely. And like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for Trading Places. Yeah. It was a good one. It was a good one. And check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to reviews, full commentary, access to polls, helps people watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.